Good morning, Marnie here. It is Thursday, June 29th, and it is Tile of the Week Thursday. Um, I'm also going to show you a, uh, a whip. Uh, got my, my coffee here. Got my coffee here. <laughs> it's the only thing bad about this cup. It's for a left-hander. Um, I got it at a yard sale years and years ago. Uh, so this is Tile of the Week Thursday. And if you do not know what Tile of the Week Thursday is, it was, it is a uh, crochet along that was kind of organically grown <laughs> uh, by Sam and Mike at Memphis Makes. It wasn't intended to be a crochet along, but turned into a crochet along. She received this book as a gift last year and vowed to make all of the tiles in it, which was going to take about two years. <laughs> so <clears throat> this book is uh, 100 Crochet Tiles, edited by Sarah Callard. I have mine on the Kindle version because uh, I didn't want to deal with the pages constantly falling out. <laughs> I didn't want to have to try and keep track of, of those uh, loose pages. So this week is number 47. And let's see if I can get back there quickly. Okay. So this week is uh, The Pebble Splash, number 47, by Katie Moore. Oop. There you go. And uh, another one that, not really my favorite, <laughs> I did have uh, trouble with it when I first started it. The first few rounds were like, oh, this is going to be pretty easy. And then I got to round four and I ripped it out so many times. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I had to put it down for a day. When I finally figured out what I was doing wrong and also realized that I had to flip, you had to turn to the wrong side. Once I figured that out, I was fine. I got it done. Still not one of my favorites, but I got it done. I like the way it turned out, and I did not use the color that she used. And I use a four weight yarn and a five and a half millimeter hook. Uh, <clears throat> so, and this is one that's I'm not gonna like save for anything. I'm not gonna like do this again but just letting you know that's why you might see a string I just I don't even weave my strings in on the end I just kind of cut them off since I'm not going to do anything with it anyway so here is my tile I used I love this yarn try to flatten it out I will say I I do like this I liked this round. <laughs> so yeah, once I got past that fourth round, it was fine. I didn't block it or anything. So there you go. That is week, week number 47. So, uh, that one was by Katie Moore, and next week's tile is also by Katie Moore. Next week's tile is Delft Blues, number 48. So yeah, I'm actually most of the way done with this one already. I'm not a favorite again, but it, it was okay, I suppose. I've got two more rounds left to do on this one, and mine's not going to be blue. <laughs> Mine is going to be the same colors as this one. Because I am all out of any spare blue. Uh, so, uh, for the 
for those of you who want to watch more tiles, you can just search hashtag tile of the week Thursday and you will get bombarded with a list of people doing these tiles and they're fun to watch. <laughs> Especially when people get frustrated with these tiles. <laughs> I think that's funny. Um, so yeah, hashtag tile of the week Thursday. And uh, thank you to Sam and Mike for creating it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the progress that I have made on uh, on my granddaughter's blanket. I didn't get as far as I wanted to last weekend. I was really, really hoping to get further than I did, but I was so tired all weekend long. And I've, I've been tired all week. That The heat does that to me. Oh my gosh, the heat just makes me so sleepy. I was sitting outside yesterday. I always go outside for a little bit, no matter <laughs> no matter the temperature. And I went outside for a little bit yesterday, and oh my gosh, I was just falling asleep. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't keep my eyes open out here. Not in a comfortable way either, because I hate the heat. I hate it, loathe it. And uh, it was 91 yesterday. Today's supposed to be 99. I don't know what that's gonna do to the heat index, but I'm not looking forward to it. That's why I wanna do my grocery shopping this morning and get it over with. Uh, so the, uh, trying to get my stuff out of the way so I can show you this blanket. Um, i to find a place in my keyboard, my, the keyboard that I just bought to replace my laptop keyboard. Uh, so the, the blanket that I'm working on, uh, my mind has gone blank. I'm trying to remember which one. Oh, okay. It's an Ashley Bratzel design. I, I bought it off of Etsy. Um, Ashley Bratzel does, uh, she does interlocking filet crochet or locked mesh filet, uh, either way, you can call it either one. And she also does mosaic crochet. Uh, the one that I'm doing is a locked mesh filet crochet. And I don't even remember what it's called, but it's really cute. Again, I didn't get as far as I wanted to, but I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to show you how far I've gotten on it. Alrighty, here you go. This is the locked mesh filet crochet that I've been working on. This is going to be for my youngest granddaughter. She's five, Lily. And so it's going to be a unicorn. I actually was hoping to get up into the horn part of it last weekend, but again, I was just so tired. And I am using I Love This Yarn. This is the royal blue for the background. And it is uh, Instant Classic is what the print is called. There's my containers that I use to hold the yarn. I love it. I absolutely love doing these these blankets. This is the, the same technique as the Hobby Girl blanket that I did also by Ashley Russell. So there you go. That is the progress on my granddaughter's blanket. Loving it. I plan to do another one of these before Christmas, but not this not this design. It'll be something else. But I think I might do a a dragon for uh, for my nephew, my youngest nephew. So there you go. There was the progress on my granddaughter's blanket and tile of the week Thursday. And now, what I want to okay. talk about is my new channel. So when I first started this channel, it was mostly about keto and a little bit about crochet and yarn. And then uh, I kind of left it for about a year and then came back and basically devoted it just to crochet. Um, but I've really missed doing the keto part of it. Uh, I'm still doing keto. Um, I just wasn't filming the keto. And I have still been really bad about doing my 
keto journey. I, I've been, I've, I've had a, a lot of faux pas, if you will, um, eating things, keto friendly things, but eating things that I shouldn't eat and too much of those keto friendly treats. So this past week, starting on, I started like, uh, gung-ho on Monday, if you will. I don't know what other word to use, but I've gotten pretty strict about it. Uh, I have not been doing any keto treats. I've decided that I'm giving up Quest bars, Quest chips, all Quest products. I love my Quest stuff, but they're just not great for you. I mean, they're great if if they can get you over a hump, but they are not... I wouldn't keep using them. I wouldn't keep consuming those things. And I don't really care for the ingredients in them. So I'm giving them up. And it was a Quest cookie that broke my teeth. <laughs> broke my dentures. So uh, so my new channel, I decided to start. Uh, I started it last Friday as just like an intro video. But then Monday I actually started getting serious about it. So, um, I call that channel Crafty Ketivore. If you are interested, please, please, please go visit my channel. I will leave a link in the description box below to my new channel, and I would love to have you there. Um, I also have a Facebook group attached to it, and it is in an icon. It's an icon in the banner on my homepage. Um, I don't know if I can actually leave a link for that. Well, I can leave a link for it in this video. I can't leave a link for it on that channel. Because my channel is so new, I cannot post any external links in the description box. I have to build up my base, build up my channel. So, um, if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Um, so that's going to do it for now. I'm getting ready to go grocery shopping so I can do a grocery haul on that channel. Uh, and I'm going to finish my coffee. I was so tired yesterday that uh, <laughs> uh, I did not, I poured my, I made my, my uh, soothe, Yogi Soothing Caramel Bedtime Tea. It's still full. I never drank any of it. I was getting ready to make my coffee and realized uh, I still have bedtime tea in my cup. All full. Not. I didn't drink any of it at all. So I'm actually going to save it and just drink it tonight. I just won't have it hot. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to do it. If you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And I hope everyone has a great day. I will see you on probably... Maybe Monday for Marnie's Monday's Mag Makes. <laughs> uh, that is, if if my dad's home, I probably won't. I probably wait until the next day and just call it Monday. So anyway, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.